Hello, it's me, Yoni, and welcome back to more Yakuza Like a Dragon. So, we are here outside the building where Bleach Japan is. So, we need to find Nanban. Hopefully, he is here. So, let's get in here. So, I got, I think, one level on each character since the last time. So, not much, but it takes pretty long to level up. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna try it like this. Hopefully, I can do it. Hey, do you know what time it is? Uh, hello to you too. Kume-san, right? Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. You... How did you know? Yo, oh, he's here. Ichiban. Oh, yeah. Hey, I knew you'd find <laughs> a decent place to hide. Hey, man, we gotta hurry. The Ejing Three sent Liumong assassins after you. Liumong? Not Komi Jewel? Hmm. Is it just you three? No backup? Just us, sorry to say. I see. And you have business with Nambasan? Yeah. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Oh. I know you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasawara. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Grey Zone in Ijincho is one of the worst in the country. The police have just given up on it. But still, I never expected to find this. Counterfeiting legal currency? <laughs> Atrocious. So Namba spilled the beans, huh? Let's not mess around. You guys need to get out of here, now. We'll even go with you if it'll help you escape. That includes you, Namba. Kasuga, was this your plan all along? <laughs> Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumong are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. You're screwed if you're here too, civilian or not. Ogasawara-san! I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No. I think he's telling the truth. What? To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not great wall of muscle strength. Um... I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? Oh dear, dear Kume-kun. You have so much to learn about these criminals. But ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Ijincho arm of Bleach Japan. That's... uh... Ogasawara-san, what are you getting at? No kidding. You sure you're a civilian? <laughs> of course I am. I just know more about the criminal underworld than your average dipshit. What is with this guy? I think it's about time you come out. Lao Ma! What? Lao Ma? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Why are you here? I'll handle this, Director. Thank you. My service is customer satisfaction guaranteed. Then we'll take our leave. Let's go. Hey, Namba! Wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. I... I just want to find my brother, whether he's alive or otherwise. Namba, um, don't leave us! Son, what about me? Mabuchi. <laughs> Give this simpering piece of human garbage a fitting end. Didn't think this is where I'd finally see your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. That said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomiya! Alright. Oh no, yeah. what is this? He has a big weapon. <laughs> well, I hope we can do this because they are higher level, level than us. You're in it, 
Let's try this. Oh yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, boost on allies attack. I'm gonna do that. Try this on the side. Pull it together, gentlemen. You're gonna be in a Okay, a mega swing. Can we hit them all? I hope we can, but they seem to be far away from each other. So I don't know. Okay, we hit a little bit of this one by Chiefs. Hammer swing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can do this. It's it's easy. Here we go. So I went underground to level up, but yeah, I didn't get many levels at all. Like very little. <laughs> can we do it? <laughs> Look who finally made it. It's appearance. crazy with this weapon. Thing. Oh, I've seen it before. On a statue of Guan Yu, it's a legendary Chinese weapon. Oh wow. So Mabuchi puts himself on a level with ancient Chinese heroes? If he does, he's in for a rude awakening when I break his little stick. Let's get it! Yes, we gotta break his stick! Let's go! Spear, are you? Come on! Let's, yeah. Let's go! Okay, not bad. What should we do? Explosive troll, let's try that. Boom! Normal attack while he's lying down. Yes. He's pretty strong! Well, we can do this. A uh, twirling feet. Oh, nice, here's a weak to that. What should we try? Stack slap. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Stack. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought she was on the floor with him. <laughs> um, reckless charge. Rarely in peace. Oh yeah! He doesn't deal that much, much damage, so he's easy. He's easy. Shadow Stitch! That's a new skill I learned. Wow! Wow, that dealt a lot! <laughs> I'm not sure what other she should use. Boss hammer huh? is not that strong here. We'll see how much that feels. Right. Alright, I wanna use Shadow Stitch again. It was so good. Oh yeah. You're gonna be in a world. Oh, Mabushi's getting serious now. I'm scared. Yeah, I think he's in a bad mood. Is that yes, literally he is. fire coming out of him? <laughs> That's your game of brain talking again. Yeah. For fire or not? Oh, he's angry as hell. No problem. <laughs> Let's just deal with him. Hold it together. Maybe we should just do a tag team because it's the strongest skill. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Adachi is starting. Started beating. Boss hammer. Okay, that is good. I'm just gonna keep using that. Here we go. Let's go. Try this on the side. This is my. He's almost dead. We are so close. Oh my god. Oh my god. Healing vibrations. Oh no, she can only heal herself. 
Never mind then. Shadow stage. I need to heal! Okay, we use a sacrifice stone to get back to life. Oh my god. I should have healed earlier. But we did it. We did it. So much money. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright. Level up. We learned the character skill Charismatic Intimidation. Yes. Nice. <laughs> what a rush. I forgot how great this can feel. Oh good. You can still talk. <laughs> Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him like a pig on a hook. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say, I was just following orders. Who told you to pull this kind of shit? The man you just allowed to escape. The director of Bleach Japan. Ogasawara. Oh. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya? Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after is Ichincho itself. What's he on about? <laughs> He wants to expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that, he had to put just a tiny crack in the Great Wall. <laughs> a crack? You mean Nonomiya's death? I don't get it. Ogasawara ordered a hit so he could get rid of the Grey Zone? <laughs> He's a Bleach Japan guy? I thought they were a bunch of goody two-shoes. My question is, why would you do their bidding, Mabuchi? Why do something that would turn the Ejin 3 against you? <sighs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the Ejin fleas. What do you mean? <sighs> the Great Wall. The Ejin 3. That's all over. The invasion starts tomorrow. Invasion? My Bleach Japan? No. <laughs> you still don't get it? Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Bleach Japan are the Omi Alliance in Kamurocho. Are you shitting me? I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. I'll sell this whole town to the Omi, and get rewarded handsomely for it. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I- <laughs> Don't ever compare yourself to Arakawa-san again. <laughs> Guys, if the Omi Alliance is coming here... Yeah, about that. Let's go get that bastard Ogasawara to give us the lowdown. Well, he and Namba went into that back room over there. Yeah, I saw. Let's go find him. Yes. Oh, they're back. Ogasawara's gone. He went out an exit further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is gonna blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which will crush the Komi Jewel. Maybe, just maybe, they'll find my brother too. Nanchan. If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. Did you see which way Yogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichiban. I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man! Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You got assassins after you. 
Just find somewhere to hide. At least until tomorrow. Mabuchi told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're invading. It'll be chaos. That's your chance to slip away, you get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, Nanchan, as much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us too? Shut up! Think about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. They murdered Nodomiya out of pure greed. I know. But I need their help to find my brother. <sighs> Really? You're just leaving? Wanna stop me? Go for it. Hell, attack me from behind, I don't care. You know we'd never pull that kind of shit. Don't be stupid, man. We're still buds. Ugh, don't say that shit. <clears throat> Ichiban. I know how this crap feels, but we don't have time for it. Let's focus on the task at hand, searching this Bleach Japan office. I think it's back there, and this is our chance. No one's around. Yeah, you're right. All right. But yeah, none but just left us. <laughs> wow. Let's look around here, if you find any information. We can't go anywhere here, no. All right, this way. What is this? Examine. Oh shit. What's up? Uh, this picture. What about it? The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Ryo Aoki, the governor. That's back when he was younger. And considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? But... He's supposed to be dead. Huh? <sighs> In Kamrocho. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki? Not Aoki. Mm -hmm. He changed his name. I know him as... Yes. <laughs> I actually had a feeling that he's still alive because master. we got to know him so much already. His name is Masato Arakawa. So he's alive. <laughs> oh my god. Sir. During next week's budget deliberations, oh, he looks so the different opposition party classes. is going to fight you tooth and nail. Those fossils pushing for highway funding. It sounds like they're strongly against the infrastructure cuts. I imagine it's going to be a long fight. But you do have an appearance scheduled for that evening. Should I cancel it or maybe try to reschedule? I have an appearance? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the one for that newspaper? They invited a bunch of kids to that, I thought. Yes, sir. Let's not cancel it then. Wouldn't it look bad? I'm sure those parents have spared no expense making sure their children look presentable for an occasion like this, right? I'm sure, but... It'll be fine. I'm gonna run circles around those windbags and we'll have deliberations wrapped up in no time. We can't disappoint the children, can we? Understood, sir. We'll hold the appearance as scheduled. Mm. You know what? Why don't you call it a night? Good night, then. It's Ogasawara. Good news, I hope. 
I finally found it. The party chair's secret weapon. Turns out it was on the other side of the Great Wall of Muscle this whole time. Hmm. <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well-staffed in Tokyo. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. Oh wow, <laughs> he's high up in that building. Alright, new chapter, House of Cards. Here at the bar. Let's see, this probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. Oh. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then, he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly, but now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga's saying, though. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that'd make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah? Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. The 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. Or they could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. Huh? You think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, we would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. He was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. <sighs> One thing I don't get, how did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. 
Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background, so he could be governor. The public would never accept a politician with Yakuza roots. Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on! Hold the hell on! Oh yeah, he's walking. What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. When? Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? Oh, that one. Oh, right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah, Horino Uchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn. Kamroch is looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. Huh? Hey, barkeep. Remember when I asked you about that room oh. on the second floor? Oh yeah, there is a room up there. Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. Oh nice, so we can use it. <laughs> nice, thanks. <laughs> what room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. Right, they're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was, uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? <laughs> yeah, it is great, but... You sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah. Whatever. Room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides... I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. Well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Wow, dude. Thanks! We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. 
<laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink. <laughs> hey, if you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn. All right, it's the next day. Yeah, we gotta check it out. Where could we go here? Check the city, but where? Just everywhere? I guess just to walk around? Okay, let's just do it. I have a tomato plant here. Let's pick it up. Yes. <laughs> and what else could I plant? Uh, onion seedlings. All right. Yes. And later, I will come back here. Let's just walk around a little bit and then see if <gasps> the phone rang. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh. Oh, they're going bar to bar, wow. But they didn't come here yet. <laughs> and she's gone. Hey. Okay. coming to I wish she would talk sometimes too in the scenes but it's like she's not here it's a little bit sad <laughs> so yeah we gotta go down here and check it out yeah let's go let's go all right we are here it's going oh wait where should we go up here oh there they are yeah Bitch, do you want your bar destroyed? Huh? You gotta help her. You boys do what you gotta do. Listen, Granny. I don't gotta do anything. It don't benefit me at all to wreck your place. So why don't you just tell me what I want to know? Where's Kasuga? Folks said you would know. Hmm. If everyone told you to jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> You should jump off a cliff, crusty old hag. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to hit so hard. It's been a while since I punched a woman. <laughs> so, do you feel like talking yet, Grandma? <laughs> Oh my god, no! We gotta help Give it her! Swing. And this time, try to have better aim. They are completely crazy! Yes, sir. No. No! Oh my god, okay, yes! We are here! Kasuga, you decided to show up. Idiot. Why are you here? I'm the kind of guy who does whatever I'm told not to do. You okay, Hamako-san? <laughs> Don't think that I was trying to protect you guys or anything. It wasn't like that. Oh, sure. You just didn't approve of these guys' bad manners, right? <laughs> You're too classy a lady. <laughs> yep. They just weren't up to my standards. Will you let us handle it from here, though? 
<laughs> yeah, I think you've got it. Stop right there! Out of the way, you shit. Are you already back in the chairman's good graces, Totska? <laughs> I don't care what he thinks of me anymore. I'm done with the old man. You are? Yeah, because the stupid Ichinsho standoff was a fucking scam. Our bosses forced us to sit on our asses no matter what happened. Meanwhile, they raked in the cash. Who told you that? Bleach Japan. They've been spreading the word. We're not gonna be a goddamn joke anymore. Hell, the chairman's acting like Laumann never even shot up our boys. Our captain left to raid Zhao's men, and now he's a guest in Zhao's restaurant. It's all bullshit, and we're not taking it anymore! My boys here agree with me. We're all together on this! You can't stop us, Kasuga. Even our brothers at HQ are ready to tear down Hoshino! Let me get this straight. You become top dog, and the first thing you want to do with that power is come after me? Sure. Come after you, tear you limb from limb, dump the pieces in the bay. Huh. Let's say you actually managed to pull that off. Then what? Then I take control of the counterfeiting racket, along with this entire fucking town! <laughs> okay. Let's do it! Right. They are 24 Go. and 25. Let's do it. Take your best shot. Who should I attack this one in the middle here? <laughs> I love that skill, it's just so good. Nice, okay, they seem to be pretty easy. Mega swing. Nice. Three left. You're gonna be in a world of oh, they're so far from each other. This is normal attack, these guys. Nice. Only Totsuka left. Let's kill him. He he's actually really easy. Let's just get him. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. We did it. I did it. Job rank level 11. I'm actually thinking maybe I should try a different job with her. I still didn't do try anything. Look at me go. And also I thought she would try something else. Yeah. <laughs> you are no Yakuza leader. Go play king of the playground at some park. If Hamako-san ever tells me you showed your sorry ass face around here, I'll roll you into a bamboo mat and toss you in the river. That's a promise. <sighs> we clear? <sighs> We're clear. Someone else is calling now. Hello? It's Yao. I'm really busy. So oh. This quick. Okay. We underestimated Bleach Japan big time. Turns out the Omi Alliance is behind them. From the start, their plan was to take out the EG3. Lauma was just using you to get that done. I was thinking the same thing. Wait, you already knew? 
<laughs> and here I thought I was finally gonna get a thanks out of you. <laughs> Someday. Maybe I shouldn't bother telling you the other stuff I know. Uh, do it just in case, you know? As we speak, Bleach Japan protesters are marching to Komichu. About a thousand of them. What? Wow! Yeah, a thousand? and the crazy thing is, they aren't civilians. They're only soldiers. It's a Yakuza invasion disguised as a political protest. Fucking coward. Seriously? They're gonna try and get at the counterfeiting machine. I just know it. The Great Wall's strength depends on that thing. So the Omi want to expose the Ejing 3s whole operation? They're just the muscle. The orders come from Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan knows all about the counterfeiting. And they figure if they destroy that, they'll destroy the Great Wall. Yeah, but that's where you come in. Assuming you still want to lend the Komi Jewel a hand. Why us? Why not your guys? I wish I could use my guys, but there's sort of a coup going on. What? Mahabuchi's been whipping all the boys into a frenzy. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. And what? Now it's full on mutiny? Yeah. He's out there saying the EG3 bosses live the high life without sharing the wealth. A lot of my crew are buying it. My chances of getting a knife in the back are pretty high right now. And so are Chairman Hoshino's. So yeah, I'm not gonna send away what few loyal guys I got left. I get it. So can you help? Don't make me beg. You begging me might be interesting. Look, help us now and the EG3 will forget all about the number. Really? Do I have your word on that? Yeah. I'll talk to him myself. They'll come around. We got a deal? Uh, we do. But I still feel like I'm getting the raw end of it. As long as you're taking it. Ah, shit, I'm out of time for chit chat. But let me tell you one more thing. The guy giving these orders to reach Japan. It's the director, Ogasawara. He hung up. He asked us to go help the Komi Jewel. Us? Help them? In exchange for letting Namba off the hook, right? Yeah, your hearing's good, Adachi. Did you also hear that Ogasawara's behind the whole thing? So I guess we'll be paying him a visit, too. Definitely. I've got a lot of questions for our pal Kume. Alright, this story's getting real interesting right now. Someone wanna fight there? Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, we will continue here in the next episode. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you so much for watching.